All right, you get started. Let me see what you're going to do. This is simple. What I have is I have a cup and a half of flour right here, All right. two teaspoons of baking powder, a half teaspoon of soda, and then a little bit of salt. All right. That's my dry mixture. So that sounds like, easy enough. It's pretty simple. Now, a lot of half cup stuff here makes it simple. Half cup of sugar. All right. This is a half cup of sour cream. Oh, my. You like sour cream, right? I love sour cream. And I have a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. I love that. One egg. One egg. And I've melted butter. I have a quarter of a, a half a stick of butter, which is a quarter cup, because mm -hmm. you gotta have butter. Yeah, you Make sure I get all that butter in there. So simple. So many things are so simple. You know, you can buy mixes, and there's some great mixes out there, but Thank you yourself. if it just so happens that you don't have any mixes, I bet you got some flour, I bet you got some sugar, I bet you got oh, some sour cream. That's right. Now, I like a little bit of lemon with my blueberry. What do you think? Oh, yeah, zest it up. So I'm gonna zest it, and plus I'm gonna squeeze a little juice in. But I'm gonna zest as much as you want. I'm gonna do most of this lemon. Now, I'm not one for getting on my soapbox, but if I'm gonna do lemons like this, I buy organic. Because yeah. so many of them are sprayed, I don't care how much you wash them. If you're gonna use the zest, that's just me. I get right. organic. I agree. All right, I don't wanna waste this. I'm gonna use half of it. And I love my lemon. Squeezer? Yes. So it makes it so much easier. I'm just gonna put a little, little bit of squirt in there. Keep the, the seeds out of your way. That's right. And you can get a mixer out, but I think mixing with the spoon's good enough for a whisk. And I'm just gonna add the flour mixture back. You know, people online, we talk to a lot of folks and they talk about cooking and they're just starting out. There's a whole lot of folks who are just starting out cooking. And really, if you can follow directions and you can read, you can cook. It's not that difficult. Now, when it comes to baking, it's a little more precise, yeah. isn't it? Measurements. Measurements. Yes. Watch your measurements. But man, oh man, there's nothing better than homemade. Oh, Mrs. Farmer, that smell. I still got the blueberries, but I'm going to wait those till last because if I put them in now, it might smash them up and make everything turn purple. So we're just going to kind of... want that. No, we're going to fold them in towards the end here. We got our oven preheated at 350 degrees. Half a cup of blueberries. Gotcha. Those are big old blueberries. Yes, they are. Now, if you get a big old blueberry in your little bitty muffin, that'll be some good taste. It'll be delicious. And that's it. I'm going to fill those muffin tins. It's amazing how good that smells just right there. I know. I could get just the blueberry and the lemon already. Simple. It is very simple. simple recipe. It is very simple. And very tasty, I must add. All right, I'm going to fill these about three quarters full. Let me full. smell that. Oh, my. It smell delish. So three quarters way full. Yeah. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. A little spoonful of each. These are one of the best smelling little recipes. I mean, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot there, but when these are cooking, the kitchen just explodes mm -hmm. with you, good smells. I always got to have something sweet. With breakfast, you got to have a little muffin. That's right. We don't do breakfast that often, but when we do, we kind of go crazy with it. But you can put chocolate chips in there too, Nikki. Oh, you want to? I'm telling you. I mean, you're going to be, we're going to be bad. I was trying to be a little good, but all right. <laughs> what do you want to add? What would happen if you just put a chocolate chip or two in there? I wouldn't have heard it. They would, it would melt. You want some, so you want that with your blueberry and your lemon? Think about it. Okay. You don't have to. We could. Hey, just pop a few in on one of my sauces. That's a good idea. Like. All right. I like experimenting with stuff. I think we got chocolate chips. Do you think we got chocolate some. chips? Let me grab some. Oh, even white chocolate chips. Oh. Mm -hmm. And I have um, butterscotch. butterscotch. Let's try I'm a little. What about butterscotch? So just the white and the chocolate. Right, right, okay, Just a grab, few. Just stick them. them down in there and see what happens. Look what I found. So you're going to be decking it. All right, what do you think? go all the way, yeah. I th you said just white chocolate, right? I think so. Just poke them down in there. What do you think, about three in each one? Yeah, let them melt down in there. See what happens. And you don't have to do it on all of them. It can be kind of an experiment. But you think about blueberry, lemon, white chocolate. Why not? I mean, this went from a breakfast muffin to a Dessert super muffin? duper, super duper. Now, what if it's really good? Are you sure I shouldn't just do them all? Go ahead. Leave, leave one or two without it. All right. I'll Let's do. see what happens. I'll do like nine of them. I'll leave three just in case. Something <laughs> bad happens. Perfect. Ready? Tree fitty. Tree fitty. All right. 